Oh, with a one coming at you. It's the Los Angeles Angels and the Toronto Blue Jays. And now, your First pitch Toronto. coming your way next. Toronto. Blue Jays. Just about set to go now on the hill here today, Kevin Gossman. What do you have on him, Chris? It's got that splitter, and it's a pitch that swings and misses, calm fast, and they come often. Very difficult to pick up out of his hand. Okay, all set to go. So in now for the Angels, Luis Rangifo. And he deals. That's in for a strike at 95. And away we go this afternoon. Strike on the inside corner. Man, that pitch was dotted. So much talent on display when this guy's out there on the hill. Next offering upstairs. Wouldn't chase that time. Next offering is downstairs. Really good take, especially with two strikes. And a payoff pitch. Gets a piece and stays alive. Payoff pitch. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Varsho snags it. One away. All right, let's take a look at the Angels lineup. They're dealing with a top-level arm on the mound, so this figures to be a tough matchup for them. What's the key to the offense today, Singy? Well, oh, Boog, I think when you got a guy that's this talented on the mound, you've got to find ways to disrupt his rhythm, make him uncomfortable a little bit. The guys that can handle the bat and perhaps, you know, bunt, bunt for a base hit, get him moving off the mound. If you're in the box and he seems to be just in a flow, step out, mess up his timing, somehow try to get in his head a little bit, and then when he does come in the zone, you may only get one pitch. You better not miss it. Right-hander kicks deals. Two balls, no strikes to count. And Singy, as a team, you need to make the most of the very few opportunities he's going to give you, right? Absolutely. And, and you know, if you don't get to guys like this, a lot of times early, once they really settle in, it's going to be the later innings that they hand that ball over to a reliever if they do at all. Third, the designated hitter, Brandon, Brandon Drury to the plate. Hammers that one deep left field and forget it. A gigantic blast. And that gives him a lead. It's 1-0. Wasn't fooled on the first pitch at all. He squared it up right away. Chris, that ball came out hot. So let's see what StatCast has to say. Yeah, it really did, Boog. 111 miles per hour off the bat and a really nice launch angle as well. Just a beautiful swing from start to finish. And now it's going to be Taylor Ward. And there's the strike. This is a batter who clearly performs better in day games. I don't know why, but his numbers generally back it up. Two down, base is empty, but one run across, and we're just getting started here in the top of the first. That one fouled off. Two 
Two down, nobody on. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. He swings and drives one out to deep left field. And it's off the wall. Now he'll turn for second. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. Man at second here with two away. Here's the third baseman, Anthony Rendon. He was late there, strike one. Man on second, two down. Curveball over for a called strike. And that one missing low. That just misses two and two. Well, with this many pitches thrown here in this first inning, I mean, you're giving the other team a really good look. He's going to have to find a way to get some weak contact, maybe a swing and miss, get into that dugout and hit the reset button. Mickey Moniak on deck for the Angels. Swings and misses, struck him out. So they pick up a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. On to the bottom of the first. It's the Angels one and the Jays nothing. Back here with my pal Singy and getting to start Reed Detmers Chris how about a scouting report anytime you have five pitches to work with on the mound that repertoire can be a real weapon in terms of keeping hitters off balance man it's it's one of those things that I'm going to be looking for in this one does he have a feel for all of those pitches or is he just able to get one or two over in the strike zone where he wants now it's tough to do to be able to command all those pitches but if he can he is going to be very tough for the opponent today and the pitch George Springer at the plate and takes high there. The lefty the 1 0. Lifted in the air right center field. Hauls it in for the out. Let's take a look at the lineup for the Blue Jays. Now, with their ace on the mound today, they're just looking to provide him a little bit of run support, and they'll see what they can do for him. Boog, you have to be really careful when you've got a guy like this on the mound for you to not become a spectator. You know that he doesn't give up a whole lot, but sometimes guys get a little too comfortable and don't have an urgency to score runs. You have to make sure you put him in a situation where he can get the W, but also you guys can cruise to the finish line and not have to worry about a comeback in the end. One out, base is empty. And a foul ball. One down, base is empty. Just off the outside part of the plate. It's a good take. Swing and a miss. Had him out front for the strikeout. He was able to execute the perfect pitch for that situation. Had been pounding him with fastballs, and then all of a sudden pulls out the changeup and has good enough command to make it competitive. Tell you what, varying speeds like that to a hitter can be really, really effective. And right there, you could tell that hitter was just overmatched. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. in the box now. No balls and a strike. Vladdy getting to start at first. 
hitting third in the lineup and he's a former all-star game MVP. And that's off the inside edge and the count is one and one. And that clips the inside corner. Back-to-back -back fastballs in. That last one called for a strike. Probably go away, but look for him to come back in there to try to finish you off. Oh, and he hit him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. No, definitely a breakdown in his mechanics on that one. He just lost the handle and ended up way off target. Now Justin Turner gets a chance to hit. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Well hit the other way. That one going back and foul. And the pitch. Off the plate, two and one. On the ground, right side. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. One left for Toronto, and it remains one nothing. Top of the second, digging in, Mickey Moniak. Mickey Moniak. Gosman back to work. And yeah, that's outside. And that one fouled off. That clips the corner. Goes down swinging for the strikeout. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Now the catcher up to hit Logan Ohapi. That one finds the zone strike one. pitch that one called a strike oh with two down Larry Bullard making the calls behind the plate for us in this one pretty good strike zone well reviewed by those we talked to around the league yeah he's an umpire he doesn't get a lot of looks from players maybe here and there once in a while but he's appreciated back there that one missed I don't think he was trying to miss by that much in an 0-2 count just tried to overthrow that pitch Swings through it for the K. Slider got him for strike three. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. Nolan Shanowell stands in here, leaves that one off the inside. At the belt and fires. Rip towards third. Biggio sends it to first. And it's a 1 2 3 inning. Angels held in check. They lead it 1 0. And we're back. Kevin Biggio up to the plate. The third baseman. They'll see you. This is a guy that grew up in big league clubhouses and it's something that you see throughout the game sons whose fathers also played the majors that one's upstairs ball one one and oh I can only imagine the comfort level of being in the ballpark for those kids who are fortunate enough to have a dad that played in the big leagues 
them being on the baseball field for some it's pressure for them they feel that they are right at home. Swing and a miss as he was out front. Oh, he doesn't get the call. And now three balls and a strike. And that's ball four. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Now it's the second baseman. Outside. And that's ball one. Swing and a miss. I think he was sitting off speed there. Ball to strike. Good eye right there. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. Grounder might be two. Can't glove it cleanly. Beats the second out there. Back to first, and that is a double play. And now it's Dalton Varsho. Ball one, no strikes. Left-hand hitter waits. Just missed. On the ground, right side. That's the third out, inning over. We played two innings. It's one to nothing. Back here at Rogers Center. Now it's the shortstop, Zach Neto. The pitch. That misses. Ball one. Right through there for a strike. Goodness, I think he just took the best pitch he's going to see in this at bat. You don't get many like that in that location. I don't know if you take that pitch against any pitcher out there on the mound. The 1-1. One, one. Hard ground ball base knock. And that turns the lineup over. Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. So the batting order turns over, and now it's the switch hitting second baseman, Luis Rangifo. There's a strike. And the right hater deals. Good eye in that spot. Nobody out. Runner at first.
And there's a rocket into the outfield. And that's going to get into the corner. Neto around second, headed for third. Throw comes in. Runner stopped. Second and third. Nobody out. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Here's Mike Trout. Golden opportunity right here. That's in there, and that is strike one. Two in scoring position, nobody out. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Late on that fastball. That misses the zone, and the count is one and two. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. One runs in, runner stops at third, and they're at the corners with nobody out. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. So runners at the corners, nobody out. Brandon Drury, the next to hit for the Angels, rips that one to right. Drops in for a hit, couldn't run it down. In comes the run from third. It's three zip. Safely into second, he's got a double. Well done, drives in the run. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Taylor Ward, the next to hit for the Angels, doubled his first time up. Strike on the outside corner, going one. Just missed. Base runners at second and third here. No outs. That catches the corner. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Just off the inside edge. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. Next one misses. And now it's three and two. In this situation, he's trying to get you to pop something up or jam you. It's a really good take, knowing you got an opportunity to drive in a run here. Here comes a pitch. And they're all loaded up. Now oh, that sets up a really big at bat in this game. These are the moments when everyone in the stadium gets really locked in. Base is loaded, nobody out. Anthony Rendon making his way to the plate. Bounding ball here, rolls foul. Well, this is a tough situation with the bases loaded, but the healthiest mindset is just try to get out one hitter at a time. Next pitch is downstairs. Action in the pen down there. Mitch White appears to be getting loose. The pitch. And that one fouled off. And another ball. Way to lay off that pitch down. and misses it's a strikeout came inside with that two strike fastball nicely and just bunched him up on the inside part of the plate could get around on it and catch it out front 
Many times if you do it's a foul ball and you know a lot of pitchers they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter and when they've got him up against the ropes got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. That one drilled left field base hit and a run comes in throw is high and over his head. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line you know hitters they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field and it doesn't always translate into the game but right there it did and he did it perfectly. One out base is loaded. Here's the catcher Logan Ohapi. Swinging a foul over the screen and back out of play. Still only one out here in the inning. Strike two. Kicks and fires. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Slider got him for strike three. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. Nolan Shanuel, the next to hit for the Angels. 0 for 1 so far. And that's through there for a strike. Though Chris through the early stages, he hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. Two outs. It is interesting, though, when you consider the way the game is run now, doesn't even matter that much if your starter doesn't go that deep because teams are really aggressively building their bullpens. The one two swing and a miss struck him out. So they get three runs in the inning but they also leave the bases loaded. We head down to the home half of inning number three. Angels four and the Jays nothing. Back now in Toronto and now the catcher comes up to him. Alejandro Kirk. The wind of the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. And ball one. Up and in, two and one. And the slider catches the zone. This one in the air. He makes the grab, and there's one down. Batting nine, the center fielder, Kevin Kiermaier. Here's Kiermaier now. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. That pitch in for a strike, and it's 0-1. Well, he gets to balls that get by most people at that position. Just really impressive because there are certain times the ball comes off the bat, automatically that team that hit it thinks that they've got a base hit or they may have extra bases, and he just takes it away. He swings and fouls one off. 
And now the lefty. Line drive, base hit. And now the lineup turns over with one away. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Kiermaier on the goal. The throw, tag, and he's out. Well, they tried to press their luck a little after having just picked up their first hit of this ball game. So that caught stealing kind of stinks. Can't blame them for trying to get something going offensively, but so far, it's just not happening for these guys. And a pitch. Foul ball. The Angels leading by four here in the last half of the third. Gets a piece and it stays 0 and 2. Two down, nobody on. Fights that one away and the count remains 0 and 2. Bows it back with two strikes. The wind of the pitch. Not close with that one. And that's ball one. Two out spaces empty. Next offering is down low. Springer swings through that one. It's a strikeout. He didn't make it easy for him on the mound, but they still get the strikeout. And we're back. Start of the fourth. So in now for the Angels, Zach Neto. The right-hander back to work. And that's outside. And that is ball one. You know, these Angels doing a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at bats out of them. Pitch count is pretty high, and they've played it four runs already. So I think it's safe to say their game plan is working out pretty well right now. Liner, base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Back to the top of the Angels lineup. And next for L.A., Luis Rangifo. And first offering is fouled off. So they forced the starter to put in a lot of work, and they've been able to get to him for some runs. And hopefully that bullpen phone is working today. Runner at first with no outs here. And look out as that one ran in and got him. Well, they found ways to get on base in a variety of ways in this one. Hits, walks, and now a hit by pitch. And now batting, Mike Trout, one for two. On the ground, could be two. Flips to second, and that's two. Really nice double play turn right there, and it all started with that sweet glove flip on the feed to second. You know, these middle infielders, they spend a lot of time honing that glove work, so it just becomes like second nature. I think you also have to have a really good glove that's broken in that's not too large so that you can have a feel for that baseball and be able to flip it like you're barehanded. Drury in the box with two gone, and takes a look at a called strike. Boots it. But in time, nice job to stay with it to end the inning. Angels strand one, but they're in front 4 nothing.
ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now for the Jays, Bo Bichette. The pitch. Bichette, multi-time All-Star, 26 years old, and he was a second-round pick back in 2016. Right through there for a strike. Well, this guy's so comfortable hitting with two strikes, even a good pitch early in the at bat. If he's not ready to pull the trigger, he's not worried if he gets to an 0-2 count. Base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Dominant performance for him today, Boo. Just two hits allowed so far, no runs across either, and he's had an answer for just about every hitter he's faced. So I don't think this hit is going to knock him off his stride too much. Man at first, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. now. Misses just off the outside edge. I think that was a strike. Well, here's a good opportunity in this inning to get on the scoreboard after that leadoff hit and hard the order coming up right behind them. This is where they need to get going. Swing and a pop up in foul ground. Drifts towards it. And he makes the catch. And there's one down. Going to have to have a little more discipline no in no future at bats. That pitch looked good, but you can't hit it. It was just too high in the zone. You usually see a swing and miss or weak contact in the infield. Here's Justin Turner. 0 for 1. He grounded out to first his last time. Clips the corner. 0-1. The Jays down by four. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. And that's off the inside edge. Ball one. Top of the zone for a called strike. Well, he went inside a couple of times, and now outside, hitter's not exactly sure where to look for this next pitch. Ward makes the catch. Kevin Biggio with a chance to hit. And that one wrapped foul. High fly ball down the left field line. Way back there. And it bangs off the foul pole. Home run. It just got out of here. And they're chipping away. It's 4-2. Things might get pretty interesting if they keep connecting on pitches like that. Well, he really crushed that thing down the line, and everyone had to hold their breath until it clanked off the pole. And every time that happens, it just kind of feels like a trick shot or something. But really, it's just a stroke of luck that it stays fair long enough. And here is number 36. Missed with a changeup, and it's 1-0. Just missed. Detmers, maybe a little less aggressive on the mound right now after that home run, Chris. Yeah, it seems that way. You know, guys, they can come out, feel good, but then all of a sudden get touched up a little bit, and they start trying to throw instead of pitch. They're not trusting their stuff. Edge of the zone for a strike. It's two and two. Well, he's been good for the most part. Is it going to take someone going out to the mound to maybe refocus him a bit? No, partner. Every pitcher's a little different. I, I liken it to you. Sometimes you... A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that'll do it. But not before they're able to draw closer with this blast. It's now 4-2. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show.
Ready now for the fifth inning. Now it's the right fielder, Taylor Ward. Taylor Ward. The pitch. You know, these Angels, simply put, are producing a lot of quality swings. Just look at how the ball's coming off their bats, and tell me it's fun playing defense at this level. They've got seven hits at 90-plus miles per hour exit velocity, so you got to look alive out there. Springer there makes the catch. One down. The third baseman, number six. Here's Anthony Rendon up to the plate. There's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. Slider misses outside. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. Kicks and deals. Hammers that one. Curling down the line and foul. Base is empty one away and we're at the top of the fifth. And there's a the ball. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. Picks up strikeout number seven. Third time he struck out in this one and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. Moniak stands in here, takes ball one low. That one missing inside. Next offering is in for a strike. That split is a pretty nasty pitch. Explodes out of the hand. Looks like a fastball, and the bottom just falls out of it. Next offering misses. Three and one. Good slider down and in can be so hard to get on plane with. You're better off taking that pitch. That one finds the zone, and it's three and two. Foul ball left side, he'll see another. Two outs. Out towards right center, that's well struck. That one's back. Gone! A massive home run, and they boost their lead. It's 5-2. That's a swing that'll boost the win probability for sure. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit, spent on some other pitches in this at bat, was very patient, and it paid off. Base is empty with two away. And next for the Angels, Logan O'Hoppy. That's in there. It's 0 1. Gets the slider in there for a strike. All right, now, he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point, he's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. That's down and in. Close one. Doesn't get the call. Ball two. Right into the plate. Next offering misses down and away.
Got him. And that'll do it. Angels get one with a solo homer. It's 5-2. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. And welcome back to the ballpark. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Here's the left fielder, Dalton Varsho. And a pitch. In the air, left side. And there's one down. Now batting, catcher. And here's the catcher, Alejandro Kirk. First time up was a pop out. Foul ball there. One down, base is empty. That pitch gets the inside corner. And it's 0-2. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Around first, heading for two. The throw into second, and he'll make it safely. That's a double. He really shot that one down the right field line and somehow found a way to keep it from slicing foul. One thing that was great about the approach is head was down all the way through the pitch and that's how you do it. Here's Kevin Kiermeyer, One for one with a single so far. Just off the outside edge. And the 1 0. And a foul ball. This guy's seen two changeups in a row. Could be a little vulnerable for a fastball right here. And that one ripped to left. Plays it on a bounce, and it eats him up. Headed for the plate. Now a long throw home. It's offline. The run comes in. That's back to back singles for him. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. So the lineup flips over, and the batter is George Springer. That clips the zone. That's strike one. The Blue Jays trailing by two. Last half of inning number five. That's hard hit in the line. Squeezes it. Man, that's one of those at bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at bat. Bo Bichette up to the dish. He's got the power, but great contact skills. One of the best contact hitters in the game. Bounce to the left side. Rendon throw to first. And Bichette is retired. That is the inning. But the RBI single pushes across a run. It's now 5-3. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. We're back, and they make a change to start the sixth. The new pitcher, Trevor Richards. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. So in now for the Angels, Nolan Shanuel. And a pitch. And there's the strike. Movement in the Blue Jays' bullpen. Eric Swanson up and loosening in the pen. Green warming up as well.
the 0 1. Fastball for a strike. Next offering upstairs. His understanding of the strike zone, very impressive. That was a very close 0 2 fastball. I just don't know how you take that. Hit hard, base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. He was all over that one. Put a pretty good jolt into that one. Great swing, nice balance and weight transfer. And he got it to drop in out there in the deep part of the field. So man aboard, Zach Neto now at the plate. Ball one there. That one in the dirt. Now 2 0. Oh. And a good eye there. And a four pitch walk. That one hurts right there as they couldn't take care of the bottom of the order to start this inning. You turn the lineup over. Now this inning set up to be something big for this offense. Frank Hifo, the next to hit, takes ball one. First and second, no outs, and we're the top half of the sixth. Next offering is in for a strike. Battling here as he fouls it away. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Well, when you commit to throwing an inside fastball to your glove side across the strike zone, especially with two strikes, if you're going to miss, you want to miss off the plate in. You do not want to leave it out over the heart of the plate. So that was excellent execution on that pitch. Really tied him up, and he couldn't get a piece at all. Now Trout gets a chance to hit. That one's in there, 0 and 1. One out, runners at first and second. Swing and a miss. That's strike two. He got away with one there, but he knows he can't go into that spot very often against a guy like this. In the air, fairly deep to right field, and that is Springer. Drops into the glove. Now it's the D.H. Brandon Drury. He had a big swing for these guys way back in the first inning. Yeah, Boogie didn't waste any time in this one. The solo shot really got his team going, and he's looking for more right here. Drilled to right, way back there, and that is gone. Another homer. His second home run of the game. It's 8-3. Singy, the ball is jumping off his bat. Yes, it is. Tons of loud contact. Man, it's been impressive. Elevated fastballs, especially away, are like putting a ball on a tee. Hitters do a lot of cage work. They're comfortable hitting off the tees, and he was comfortable right there hitting that ball opposite field for a home run. 
On the mound now, Mitch White. And with the big deficit on the scoreboard, he almost has to just put that out of his mind. Every outing matters for relievers and their numbers, but I think it's tough to get up for this type of appearance the same way you would for one in a close game. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Taylor Ward. And that's off the inside edge. One and oh. Two down, nobody on. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. And the righty deals. That one a little bit high. Two balls and a strike. Good eye in that spot. Bounced out to short. Bichette throws the first in time. That's out number three. Angels add three on this blast. It's now 8-3. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Back here at Rogers Center. Well, we go bottom six. And now the first baseman, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. And here it comes. And first offering is fouled off. And the pitch. And a foul ball. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Man, that slider bearing in on your hands like that, it's just so tough to fight off. It's kind of like a cutter and just can eat you up, saw you off. I'll tell you what, hitters have nightmares about that pitch. Perfectly executed out there on the mound. Turner batting with one down takes a strike not sure if he was expected for the pitcher to come right at him but he got a nice cookie there and just watched it the entire way and that's downstairs and outside just missed with that backdoor breaking ball if he gets a swing and miss or called strike 0 2 count instead it's 1 1. Look for him to go back to that pitch later in this at bat. Missed with a changeup and a count two and one. Base is empty one away here in the bottom of the sixth. That one hammered left field. That's back there. It has the distance gone. And they close the gap. It's 8-4. That gives them hope they can pull off this comeback. They just need a few more swings like that, and they're back in business. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch. Absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. So one out, nobody on. So up next for Toronto, Kevin Biggio. And there's a fly ball deep right field. And it's a one hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. 
He's in at second with a one-out double. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. He hit that ball really well to deep right field right there. Got a pitch to drive and just stayed through it nicely. Didn't quite have the trajectory to clear the fence, but you're always happy with an extra base hit. Could be a chance here for them to start clawing back into this ballgame. Here's the second baseman. Check swing. Went around. Strike one. Runner at second here, one gone. Late on that fastball. Wow, good luck catching up to that one. Oh, and two now. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. Man at second. In the air out towards right center. Ward sizing it up. He's there. He's got it. Runner tags at second. And he moves up to third. Now two away. Dalton Varsho next up for the Blue Jays. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Two outs with a runner at third. Right through there for a strike. On the ground to first, and that's just foul. Two outs just off the outside edge. The count now two and two. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. It's now an 8 4 score. You're dialed into the show. Top of inning number seven. Now the third baseman, Anthony Rendon. Anthony Rendon. The pitch. Slice down the right side. And that one pulled foul. And this is inside. Right hander kicks deals. Pitch misses there, and it's three and two. Out there to center. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. So up next, Mickey Moniak. He's already homered here in this one. Out towards right center field. Kiermaier snags it for the second out. The catcher, number 14, Logan. Two outs, base is empty. Ohoppy. Here's the catcher, Logan Ohapi. Three strikeouts already. He's 0 for 3. That one finds the zone. Strike one.
And a pitch is outside. Ball one. Inside, just missed. Good fastball there. I think it was a purpose pitch. Just want to make that hitter's feet uncomfortable. And that location will definitely do it. Swing and a miss. And the count is two and two. He's had a tough day at the plate. Three strikeouts already. It's hard not to think negative, but you got to find a way to somehow center up the baseball and put it in play. Two down, nobody on. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Angels go down one, two, three. But they still lead it by a count of eight to four. Adam Simber will take over here. Well, I got to think he probably has a little extra in the tank facing his former team. And there's not a player in the league that doesn't get a little extra motivation when he plays against his old squad. Here's the Toronto catcher, Alejandro Kirk. Simber, a 6'3 righty, 195 pounds, and he was a ninth-round draft pick back in 2013. Well, these Jays, digging into their numbers, have to be happy with the swings they're taking. We've heard lots of loud noise coming from their bats in this one, haven't we? I mean, they've launched six hits at 90-plus exit velocity, and that doesn't happen by accident. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Swing and a miss. Slider got him for strike three. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of the zone right there. I don't think that's a strike if he takes it. Pretty textbook pitching. Get ahead in the count. Get the guy in the box on his heels and then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. Hard hit left side. Jump throw. Awesome play there. The right fielder, number four, Joel Springer. Back to the leadoff spot in the Blue Jays lineup. And it'll be George Springer to step to the plate. And that one just misses a ball and no strikes. The Halos leading by four here at the bottom of the seven. Right-handed reliever. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Two outs. Up and in, and that's ball two. Righty delivers. Pitch misses there, and it's three and two. Bo Bichette waiting to hit for Toronto. And he deals. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. At the belt and fires. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at bat. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Simber is ready. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. 
five foul balls in a row. I have no idea what that feels like, but you got to love this battle. Just wondering who's going to blink first. Three, two on the way. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. That's down. One hops off the wall. And he's in at second with a two-out double. Well, wore him down after an extended plate appearance. It ends with a knock. At that point in at bat for a hitter, when you've seen that many pitches, you've gotten a look, you've fouled off pitches, so the confidence level is extremely high, and it seems like when you go that deep into it at bat, the hitter usually comes out on top. So two down, and now Bo Bichette, one for three. First pitch, just misses. Man on second, two down. That one finds the zone, and it's one and one. Bichette started after it, tried to hold up. Now a look to first, and no swing, says James Kingsley. Runner at second, two down. the pitch and they'll do it again man at second swing and a miss struck him out that ends the frame Blue Jays held in check they're unable to make a dent in an 8-4 deficit We're at the top of the eighth, and here's the first baseman, the first Nolan Shanuel. The pitch. That catches the outside corner. That's strike one. Backdoored him with a breaking ball. Just got the corner. There's nothing you can really do with that. The next pitch misses. One ball, one strike. Just missed. And that one fouled off. Left hand hitter waits. This one blasted the other way down the line, and it's a foul ball. And the pitch. On the ground to the left. Bichette. Zips it to first. One up, one down. The batter, number nine, shortstop, Zach. And the batter will be the shortstop. Zach Neto. In the air on the infield. Biggio should have this one. Hauls it in two away. The batter number two, second baseman, Luis Renjifo. Back to the top of the lineup. Now it's the second baseman, Luis Renjifo. Center field. Kiermaier gets under it, nabs it, and that'll do it. Yeah. 
So the Angels turn to their bullpen for a new pitcher, Luis Garcia. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. 3-4-5 due up for the home team. Here's Vladimir Guerrero Jr. And here it comes. Just missed. If you're on the mound right now, you know you have to retire this hitter. If he gets on base, it could open up the floodgates for this offense to score some runs. Kicks and deals. So two balls and no strikes. And another ball. So definitely a little wild right out of the gate. Well, it could be a little tough coming from the bullpen mound to this mound, but you've got to find a way to get ahead in the count quickly. He hasn't. We'll see how this at bat turns out. And he walked him on four pitches. Looked like a questionable call in that spot. He even seemed a little surprised it went his way at the plate. But as a hitter, you'll take that all day. Man at first. Now it's Justin Turner. He's already homered in this game. Slice to right. Fair ball. Guerrero. Round second on his way to third. Throw comes in. Runner stopped. Second and third. Nobody out. Here's the third baseman. Kevin Biggio. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Next offering is outside. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. And Joyce getting ready to go. Estevez getting loose as well. Kicks and fires. On the ground, right side. Ring Hifo. Fires over to first. There for the out. Runner scores from third. Well, you're definitely looking to do more with that opportunity at the play. Two runners in scoring position, but at least he puts the ball in play. They bring across one run. Still one out there to pick up. Got to keep things airtight defensively right here. On your toes, ready to make a play. If you can get this to the ninth with a three-run lead, it should be a W. That one ripped. He won't get there. That should be extra bases. Runner from third comes across, and now just a two-run deficit. Comes through with the RBI. A lot of times in today's game, right fielders are able to get to a ball that stays in like that, but he hit that one pretty well. And if he hits it just a little bit different on the barrel, it's out of here easily. But there's nothing wrong with the extra bases right there. New pitcher in the game for the Angels, Matt Moore. These are the spots where relievers really make a name for themselves, late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. Man at second with one away. Now the left fielder, Dalton Varsho. 0 for 3, a fly out, a ground out, and a strikeout. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. Next pitch is outside. Right side. Sneaks through base hit. Rounds third, headed for the plate. Safe. Well, he gets it done in a big spot to get the run across. Just one of those seen eye base hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. 
One down, runner at first. And next for Toronto, Alejandro Kirk. And that one missing low. And the pitch. On the ground to first. Could be two. Fired to second. Return throw to first. Got him. Double play. And that'll do it. So they get three runs, three hits, no errors, and nobody left on. Through eight full, it's the Angels eight and the Blue Jays seven. And we're back. Now the number two hitter, Mike Trout. Number 27, Mike Trout. The pitch. That's a strike across the top of the zone. Good pitch to hit on a tee up in the zone. I think he was looking for something else right there. Slider misses outside. In the air right field. And that'll fall for a base hit. Next to hit, Brandon Drury looking for his third home run of the game. Yeah, he blasted his second of the game in the sixth inning. This guy looks like he's playing on beginner mode in this one. Beginner mode is where it's at, Chris. And that misses off the outside edge. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. That one misses, and the count is 2 0. Oh. Chris, with that distraction and the speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. Just missed. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. And the right hander deals. Broken bat, and it's popped up. Calls it in, and there's one away. So now it's the full hole hitter, Taylor Ward. Right through there for a strike. And that's a great take right there. Even though it's a strike, with the situation, runner on first base, you want to keep the ball off the ground. And you swing at that pitch, most likely you roll into a double play. One run game here in the top of the ninth. Ground ball right side could be two. Steps on the bag for one. And that's two. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. And 9-1-2 scheduled to lead off the bottom of the ninth. It's the Angels eight and the Blue Jays seven. Carlos Estevez on a pitch out of the pen here. Save opportunity for him right here, and he's their guy. Time to lock this one down and get out of here with the W. So digging in, Kevin Kiermeyer. Corner infielders guarding the lines, trying to prevent extra bases. Here comes a pitch. Swing and a miss. Going one. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. Next offering upstairs. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. And another ball.
Inside just missed. Boog, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. One run game, bottom nine. That's a good at bat right there. He was down early in that plate appearance. Works the walk. They're not ready to go home quite yet. Here's George Springer. Really nice double last time after a long battle at the plate. And Chris, what about the stolen base to try and get the tying run into scoring position? It's definitely in play, and you want to see it early in this count. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. Breaking ball through there for a strike. Well, we call that keyholing. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. That one finds the zone, and it's 0-2. Just amazing to me how many closers and back-end relievers just throw absolute gas these days. I never would have had a chance. And one and two. Just missed with that good fastball inside, but it plants a seed in the hitter's mind. He's got to be ready for that pitch, which will open up the outside part of the plate. That's off the mark, and it's two and two. Estevez picks over. Kiermaier back in. Trying to keep the game alive here in the bottom of the ninth. Got him. Outside pitch got the better of him that time. That's a pretty nasty pitch right there. I'd call it a power curveball in the 80s. It's got so much spin on it, and you really don't have a lot of time to sit back and watch what it's going to do before you have to commit. It was a good one for the swinging strikeout. Bo Bichette will hit next. Known for his late inning heroics. Turned on, but that's foul down the third baseline. And a pitch. It's a pitch out, nothing doing, and that's ball one. Fly ball down the line. Fair ball. Makes the turn at second, heads for third. Here comes the runner. The relay. The tag, and he's in there. Such great concentration. Everybody on their feet, knowing that you can come through with a good swing. And there he doesn't try to do too much. One out, runner at second. And now for the Jays, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. And that's in there for strike one. With the winning run standing at second. Here in the last half of inning number nine. And fouled off. Flew open a little bit with that front shoulder, but was able to slow his back down just enough to make contact with that pitch. Keep the bat alive. And now one and two. The winning run on second base. Check swing. Now we'll look down to first. No, he held up. He caught it behind his back. And that's a great play for the out. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. Here's Turner now. 
And that gets the top of the zone for a strike. Trying to send this extra innings. Swings through that one for strike two. Well, if he's going to do something special right here, it's going to have to happen with two strikes. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. And the righty deals. He fouls it off. We'll do it again. The 0 2. That one is upstairs. Well, this is a guy that can be frustrating for pitchers because he fouls off so many pitches and grinds out the at bat. I'm sure there are some times where a pitcher would rather just give up a first pitch single than have to waste six or seven pitches on one hitter. To the right side. Tosses to first. That's the third out, and we're headed to extras. The Jays push across a run on this double. All even now at eight apiece. Major League Baseball is on the show. And welcome back to the ballpark. Now it's Anthony Rendon. And the right hander back to work. Smoked on the ground a second. That takes care of Rendon. Not a bad outcome in that spot. The runner moves up to third, and now they have a chance to drive in the go-ahead run. It's not a hit, but at the end of the day, it's a good at bat, especially when you're playing extra innings. A move coming at third base. Here's the Angels pinch runner, Joe Adele. Mickey Moniak, the next to hit for the Angels. In the infield at the corners, don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring. One away with a runner at third. And here in extra innings. Next offering is downstairs. Definitely a strikeout situation right here. Lots of ways for that go-ahead run to score if the ball's put in play. 2-0. That clips a corner. That one missed. Logan Ohapi up next for the Angels. He walked in, and that will keep things going. He's making things difficult for himself right now out there on the mound, but, you know, his confidence should still be high enough to get out of this, but he's going to have to buckle down right here. Logan Ohapi, the next to hit for the Angels. 0 for 4 with four strikeouts. Outside low, and that's ball one. Maybe losing command a little bit after the walk. Next pitch, not even close. And a count one and two. Runners at the corners, one away. Here in the top half of the ten. Dives, but it's off his glove. Oh, he throws it away. Lead runner around second. And he's going to make it up to second base as that's a two-base error. Love how he just kept it simple there. Didn't come out of his mechanics. Nice tight swing, hard hit ball. Two on, one out. And next for L.A., Nolan Shanuel. And that's off the inside edge. And that is ball one. And another ball. 
He's got a base open, so the pressure to come in and really attack this hitter, not as great as it would be if the bags were set. That one finds the corner. Two and one now. Wow, just a beautiful backdoor slider right there. If you've got any chance of hitting that. Base hit, one run is in. Fires it to the plate. In there safely. And they're up by three. Back-to-back -back singles, pretty tough for the infielders to do anything with that one. He pulled it hard into the outfield, and even when you keep it on the ground, it feels great when you hit a missile like that. Eric Swanson takes over on the mound. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. Run around at first with one gone. Here's the shortstop at the play. Zach Neto. Check swing. Did he go? Yes, he did. Swanson goes six feet, three inches. He features a splitter, a four seamer, and he works in a slider. A one down. Squirts away a little bit to second, and he's out. Three runs across in the frame here in extra innings. Next offering upstairs. Right through there for a strike. Two down, nobody on. Good job to fight that one off. Here's a 2-2. And another ball. Deep drive down the line. Foul ball. And down on strikes he goes. He battled for a long time, but it finishes with a strikeout. You can't be mad at yourself after an at-bat like that one. Three runs, two hits, one error, and no one left on. Last chance to even things up, we head to the bottom of inning number 10. Halos 11 and the Blue Jays 8. Now into the game, Joe Adele. He takes over and right. Here's a new pitcher from the pen, Robert Stevenson. And I can't imagine any save is an easy one. You're holding a small lead on the scoreboard. Now the third baseman, Kevin Biggio. And the pitch just missed. Next pitch is outside. And there's a foul ball. And that one hammered trap going back. And that one hops the wall. The run comes in from second, and it's now a two-run game. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. Got a good pitch to drive, stayed short with his bad path to the ball, and caught it out front, and he stayed long in his follow-through. That's how you split the gap, and that's pretty much a double every time. Here's the second baseman. First pitch misses. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit's probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. The tying run at the plate. And a good eye there. Oh. 
That one is absolutely belted. And it's a one hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. The run scores from second. It's 11 to 10. Well, when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone, and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like he did right there. Dalton Varsho next up for the Blue Jays. That's through there for a strike. So the tying run at second. Swing and a drive. Deep left field. Moniak going back. Pulls it in on the warning track. Runner tags at second. And the throws offline. Safe at third. Now batting. Catcher. Pitching change here, number 59. Well, with a runner at third and less than two outs, he's coming in looking for strikeouts right here. Balls put in play give him a good chance at bringing home that run. And now the catcher comes up to him. Alejandro Kirk. And there's no doubt that they'll feed off the energy from this crowd, right? I mean, yeah, I'd say the intensity level has gone up a few notches for sure. That one to first. Shanowell takes it to the bag, and they're down to their last out. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit, and then from there can really settle in. So they're down to their final out. So up next for Toronto, Kevin Kiermeyer. And a strike. Right-hander kicks deals. They're down to their final strike. He's fallen behind in a huge spot, Boo. Got to do what it takes to come through. Maybe choke up on the bat a little bit, spread out those feet, whatever it takes. The Jays down to their final strike. In the dirt. Well done behind the dish. Two outs. Wouldn't chase that time. And another ball. Payoff pitch. Ball four. He walked in. And that keeps things going. Walks out of the bullpen can absolutely kill your momentum very quickly. They're in some hot water trying to protect this lead. So two outs with runners on the corners. George Springer, the next to hit. Outside low, ball one. Well, he's already in some trouble and falling behind in the count makes it even worse. Then you've got to throw the ball over more of the plate, and that's where they can really do damage against a guy like this. That one catches the zone, and the count one and one. Dangerous spot for that slider right there. Didn't seem to quite finish out front and get that sharp break. Tell you what, he doesn't want to throw that pitch again. And the count one and two. Two on, two outs. This one in the dirt. 
tag safe at second and good hustle to move up that's a wild pitch. Right-handed reliever. Swung on, belted. Trap ranging back. He's got it. Ball game. And the Angels hold on to win a tight one as this one ends as a one-run ball game. Well, this is a big win on the road and going extras into 10. Uh, so hard to pull those out, but I think this team did a great job of keeping the crowd out of the ball game late. When you can do that, it kind of calms everything down, keeps the adrenaline of the opposing team down a bit, and you can steal a win and get out of here happy.